Someone asked me, why do Catholics baptize babies? I had this simple answer. Through baptism, we are freed from sin and reborn as children of God. We become members of Christ, are incorporated into the church, and made sharers in our mission. Of course, that is from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. You realize this is a different understanding of the sacrament of baptism as held by most Protestant denominations who hold that baptism is not a sacrament, but an ordinance. Therefore, it does not in any way convey the grace it symbolizes. Rather, it is merely a public manifestation of the person's conversion. Sample this. The Catholic Church understands baptism first as a sacrament for remission of sins both original sin and actual sin. In this case, infants have no actual, actual sin, but what St. Augustine referred to as original sin. Two, to become members of the church and part of the new covenant. In the Old Testament, those born into the Jewish household could be circumcised in anticipation of the Jewish faith in which they would be raised. Thus, in the New Testament, those born in a Christian household are baptized in anticipation of the Christian faith in which they will be raised. Therefore, parents bring their babies to the waters of baptism by professing a belief in Christ on behalf of the child and promising to raise them in the faith. In what happens during baptism, Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. He says, every one of you, he does not exclude children. So, during baptism, children receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promise is to you and your children, and to all that are far off, everyone whom the Lord, our Lord God, calls to him. And the psalmist concludes by saying, In guilt I was born, and in sin my mother conceived me. Nevertheless, the importance of baptism for salvation makes the church not to serve Baptism for those with reason. Just as parents make decisions on behalf of a child to ensure physical and emotional well-being long before the child can consent. Parents also make the decision for the sake of their child's spiritual well-being. A good model for this action is Mary and Joseph bringing Jesus to be circumcised on his eighth day of life. So Jesus would become a part of the old covenant. Parents to bring their children to be joined to the new covenant through baptism. The Bible does not exclusively talk about infant baptism, but there are some verses pointing to it. For example, when Lydia was converted by Paul's preaching, she was baptized with all her household. Household here means the whole family, including babies and servants. The Philippians jailer, whom Paul and Silas had converted, we are told that the same hour of the night he was baptized with all his family. If the text referred simply to the Philippian jailer and his wife. Then we would read that he and his wife were baptized. But that's not the case. Thus, his children must have been baptized as well. The same applies to the other cases of household baptism in the scriptures.